What's going on everyone? It's Simon and this week we are sitting down with Dan from E4 Project. We're talking about what makes them stand out from other orgs, how they're using social media content and how they're they were planning on using the content that we may have made. Now I say they plan because we actually shot this while we were in the DR Congo. So it's a super awesome little experience. I dug this out of the archives because I thought it was relevant for you. So stay tuned, be sure to hit the subscribe button, be sure to hit that little like button and enjoy my sit down conversation with Dan. This is the first time that we have work together Correct. actually meeting in Entebbe, Yes. which was kind of crazy when you think about <laughs> yeah. it. Um, when we first started talking, kind of what was your vision for doing video here at Nebo? Yeah, so I knew that we have a, like a ton of stuff going on and a lot of projects that we want to launch soon that we haven't done much talking about yet. And uh, I just know that like, you know, as a partnerships director, so much of what I do is trying to explain something to somebody and get them to like grasp what's happening enough to want to engage and help. Yeah. So doing that, like you know, pictures worth a thousand words, little video is like worth a million. Yeah. <laughs> you know? So, so yeah. being able to get someone that can not just like shoot iPhone video like I can, but do like a, a proper storytelling job, uh, I knew was was super important for for what we want to do in the future. Um, and so. When we got talking and uh -huh. kind of started to hand things out, where, how, like, were you feeling comfortable? Were you still a little nervous? Because we hadn't actually done anything in yeah. that, so like. Yeah. Well, you sent me some links to your stuff, and so like I saw what you done before, and it was pretty good. <laughs> so I was like, all right, he's the guy. <laughs> so. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. Um, with. Since we've gotten here, how yeah. do you think things have gone? Um, really good, especially like uh, every day it's been like, okay, what are we doing today? What do we need to get done? And a lot of times what we plan in the morning doesn't happen <laughs> by the end of the day. <laughs> Cause, Total fact. Yeah, because well, we're in Africa and that's it's also how it goes. It's funny how like, we have this like vision for like the whole time and yeah. when we were in Entebbe and then all yeah. of a sudden the minute we get here in Jean-Claude's like, no, we're doing this this day and this yeah, this day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, with you shooting in Africa before, like, you kind of knew how it went and yeah. just, like, took it with strides. So that was super helpful because uh, I didn't have to, like, <laughs> so <laughs> things are different here. <laughs> like, yes. you kind of had that cultural awareness. Um, and then bringing a second shooter uh, was great, too, because all the, the amount of gear you guys are bringing has been awesome. Well, and it, it's also been helpful because there have been the situations where we've had to split. Yeah, just yeah and cover two things at once. Cover so much at once. Yep. I think we're trying to get, what, seven videos? <laughs> if you guys are willing if to put possible. in the time to cut it, yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> just to even get it captured. Yeah. Like, that, the hard yeah. part is getting it captured. Yeah, just, and so, yeah. Yep. Trying to get as much done in a week as possible mm -hmm. is insane. Um, I, I'm thankful for being here. It's been a very wonderful experience. Um, how, how do you see the video type work having an impact on what E4 is doing? Well, you know, the storytelling is the, the big thing. So I feel like I'm a decent storyteller, I feel like. <laughs> but. Got a little bit of time to it. Yeah, yeah. But even like if I'm speaking in front of a congregation or a group of people and I can show them a five minute video about the hospital, yeah. it saves me a half an hour of talking. Sure. You know? So when I can show them a video that kind of like sets the scene and then allows me to tell some more in depth stories. Um, it makes that, you know, whatever, half an hour, 45 minutes, 20 minutes I have with that group of people way more impactful and useful. It also helps them understand things a lot more. Oh, for I, sure. Like, even from what I had known from our conversations beforehand, yeah. I, there, <laughs> I did not have any idea of what was really going to be here when I yeah. got here. And I've yeah. seen photos and stuff, so it's like, yeah. I, 
I'm still blown. My, like, my mind is blown about like some of the stuff that it goes on here. Uh-huh. And I mean, even some of the way that things are changing. Because yeah. I, I mean, I've been to Bangla where you had lived mm-hmm. in Gabon, and that's like state of the art. And then that was my view of African hospitals. Mm-hmm. And then coming here, I'm like, oh. Yeah. So it's a whole different world, and seeing how they just work with what they got is uh-huh. crazy. Uh huh. Yep, for sure. Yeah, and the other, I mean, the other big thing I'm excited about is, you know, being able to leverage this content on social media. Yes. You know, because we have our, our established church partners, but we also have a, a, a pretty decent social media reach. Yeah. Um, and, you know, just various networks of people spread across the country. And uh, so being able to, to share this stuff virtually is also, you know, a huge very asset. Very true. Yeah. Very, very true. Awesome. I, I just wanted to sit and talk to you for a couple minutes. Um, that was really it. Yeah. I appreciate it. Yeah, I thank you guys for coming out and, and slepping 50 pound video bags around in the heat all day. <laughs> I mean, there's worse things we could do. Yeah. I hope you guys liked it. It was a fantastic time working with them. We're actually in discussion about going back over to Nebo Bongo, so I really can't wait to see how this happens and see how that works out. Uh, but for now, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Be sure to hit the like button if you guys enjoyed it. And stay tuned for the next one. I'll see you guys next time.